What's up everybody, welcome back to Studio Reef. I know I'm kind of late with this video, but I've been down with the flu and the last uh, week has just been uh, pretty much me just being in bed. Anyway, that's not what this video is about today. I had an outbreak in my tank and to really show you what I'm talking about, we have to go back in time to uh, the time before I released the last video I did, which was uh, how to sell uh, corals and make money from your tank part two so just a week before that I was actually almost on the verge of doing a tank teardown and the reason was uh, like I said an outbreak of an algae and this algae is uh, not like uh, diatoms and red slime algae and all that this one does not care about phosphates and nitrates this algae lives on the same nutrition as uh, sponges and stuff like that. So it's more of a seaweed type algae, but how it works is that it encrusts on the rocks and it forms these small discs that you can just peel off sort of, but the rest of the algae that does encrust the rock uh, actually uh, chokes out all the, the, the good bacteria that you have on that rock. So eventually uh, having this algae long enough, it's gonna choke your tank to death. So. Uh, I could see small drops in my pH and uh, I could actually see some diatoms showing on the sand here and there and so uh, the best way to show you guys how this went down and what I've done so far is to go back to the point where I was almost doing the tear down. So let's go back there and see how... <laughs> So this is my attempt to remove the Lobophora algae. As you can see, all the brown stuff here is covering my rocks. Although this little snail has been very busy today, there's a ton of Lobophora everywhere in my tank. The stuff is just spreading so fast and it thrives when your tank water is pristine, so that's a problem because there's nothing you can do about it. If you want to keep SPS and you have this shit in your tank, there's nothing you can do. So I've read on the forums and today I'm gonna do what I can do to combat that brown shit from my tank. My first weapon of choice, this guy, the tuxedo urchin. The second weapon of choice is this guy. The naso tank. And you guys might be thinking, man, hey, is that ick? And no, it's not ick. All that white stuff is because this fish has been fighting one of the other fish, so it's bite marks and scratches. So I got him basically for free, and I'm gonna quarantine him for a day or so just to make sure that ain't ick, and then putting them in there. That's me holding the phone. <laughs> so yeah, wish me luck guys, here we go. This is day two of combating the Lobophora algae. And as you might can see, the nasal tang is trying to have a go at it. He's been eating off of it since this morning. And right behind him there, kind of hard to see, is the tuxedo urchin. And he hasn't been doing much. He's been basically underneath the rocks since yesterday. So, so far, the credit goes to the NATO tank, as you can see here. He's trying to just grab all that brown algae and just rip it off. For those of you who have this stuff, you know how hard it is to remove. It's like it's glued on or something it's slippery it's weird it's rubbery I hate it so hopefully soon the brown algae will be eradicated by this guy and this guy so that's it for today here we are day four uh, it's evening time 
and today the naso tank has been working on this area here which was completely covered in the brown algae before and now I'm starting to see light specks of the rocks underneath so he removed about I'd say 40% of the algae on this area so he's not done at all and he still has this whole outbreak to deal with but he's definitely making a dent More updates tomorrow. So I came down this morning and the sea urchin right here is working on this big rock here today. I think he's been at it all night. Um, let's take a look around. thing is with the sea urchin, when he does something, he, he really gets it down. While the rock underneath all this area here, you can still see specks of the algae and that's the, um, the naso tank. So the naso tank has been working on this rock for about a week and that's what he gets from it, as you can see. He's not as thorough as the other one, but he does keep it way down. So that rock up here, which was completely brown yesterday, is now back to coralline algae and uh, purple looking. So. so what they need now to do is get in here small areas there and up here is a little bit as well but it's so little left so here we are at day 10 and right now this rock is starting to look more like what it used to there are some small patches still on there but most of it is actually coralline algae uh, which is also a dark purple so it's a little bit hard to see that but uh, comparing this to just uh, two or three days ago this was entirely brown completely covered um, there's still a bit of it up here that um, my fish just can't get to just because the uh, arm of this coral is sticking out so I might just frack that off and uh, have them go to town on that stuff right there uh, over here it's completely gone uh, not a single speck of the algae also on this one up here as well nothing left at all in the back there was also covered with uh, uh, brown algae right there it's also as you can see completely gone up here is a little tiny bit left just here but he's picking at it every day so it's getting less and less uh, overall the brown waffer algae is I would say 90% terminated uh, as it looks right now so the sea urchin and the naso tang has been doing a fantastic job uh, my third weapon of choice would have been uh, uh, Sally Lightfoot crab, but right now I just don't feel the need to get one and put one in there and risking it eating fish and all that when it gets bigger it's really hard to get them out once you put them in so I would say that this stuff would be pretty easily removed by this guy and the I don't even know where he is right now <laughs> there he is up here um, yeah, so overall I would call this a complete success. I would definitely recommend uh, this kind of cleanup crew if you ever get that brown waffle algae. Uh, yeah. Welcome 
back to Studio Reef. I know I'm kind of late with this video, but I've been down with the flu, and last uh, week has just been uh, pretty much me just being in bed.